Alex Zanardi wins the Molson in his fourth straight victory. Michael Andretti, a uh, five-time winner, was second. Couldn't hold him off. Uh, bad rear tires, balding tires at the end. He couldn't hold Zanardi off. Vassar finished third. Then, good day for Bobby Rahal and teammate Brian Herta. Four and five. And then Scott Pruitt. The Canadian results, Greg Moore, the best of them, finished 11th. And Paul Tracy, of course, victimized by his own teammates blocking the road. And Patrick Carpentier, DMF. Point standings after today's race. Zanardi with 175. We'll get to you, Rob. Stand by. 69 points ahead of Jimmy Vassert. Then Canadian uh, Greg Moore drops into third. 77 points back in a battle with Adrian Fernandez, Michael Andretti, and Dario Franchitti to hold down that uh, third spot. And now, standing by live for post-race reaction, it is <laughs> Sportsline's Rob Sinclair. I'm really glad you got that score stats sheet in there, I'll tell you. Hey, you know what, as impressive as that final turn off of uh, Michael Andretti was, it wasn't really all that pretty for Alex Zanardi this afternoon. For the most part, he ran about fourth place, ran himself in it out of trouble. But what was most impressive, I thought, was that he was relentless in his pursuit of the podium. And it turned out to be his 15th podium finish in his last 18 starts. Jimmy Vassar is starting to... Experience. This race was won with three laps to go on turn three on an active sheer aggression. Alex Zanardi thrusting inside, forcing and ailing Michael Andretti outside, and ultimately out of first place. When we came up to that turn, uh, he, was, he did really a great job to try to block me, to protect the, the, his position, and he lost the car a little bit. He thought probably he was safe, so that's why he let the car go on the left. I saw the opening, and I said, I'm going to try. The car got so loose, I could barely keep it straight, especially under braking, and... Uh, um, I was a sitting duck for Alex. No driver was a bigger sitting duck than Dario Franchitti, whose dream day turned to disaster with about a dozen laps to go. Jimmy Vassar breaking Franchitti's nose after the pole sitter unexpectedly spun out. I just couldn't control the car. I was on the brakes, and you know, I couldn't make it go to the inside where I think we needed to go because I was carrying too much momentum and uh, ran over his nose. It got kind of pinned between on his nose and the wall and uh, hit pretty hard. Uh, and after that, I had a vibration uh, pretty much to the end of the race. A race in which Zanardi struggled throughout, but wound up with a record-tying fourth straight win anyways. I did basically everything. Uh, I spun, I got stuck into an accident, uh, I took the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way and uh, got stuck. Uh, um, I had problems with my car, with the tires first and with the brakes, with everything, and nevertheless I'm, I'm here in the middle of these two guys and it's just simply unbelievable. It wasn't a bit setting there where everybody went. Alex Zanardi has been absolutely unbelievable all season long. This is now his sixth win of the season, and here we are in Toronto, the 11th stop on the standings circuit. And when you think about it, he has also been the master of the street course. He is now five for five on the road races. Now, Robbie, the impressive thing is he's hasn't, he hasn't started off the pole yet. He doesn't have the fastest package. He's just maybe the best driver. I think you've got it there. He was really, really anxious to win the pole here because he's yet to win one all season long. Yet he's dominated the circuit through a lot of creativity. He's a real gambler on the road. And with a lot of marbling going on today, the road lane was very, very narrow. There wasn't a lot of room to pass. What he managed to do was gamble when he had to and take advantage of others' misfortunes. Did the subject of an F1 jump come up uh, in the press conference? Actually, it didn't. It's been something that's been uh, kept very quiet here. I think because it is it is so far removed. There is, still, there is still so much racing to go that I think a lot of people won't be talking about that till the end of the season. Good job, Robbie. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Robbie Sinclair down at the lakefront, Gene.